Hey guys, welcome back to the Book Nook Corner. It's Courtney. So today's video is a fun one, again, just like normal. At least I think they're fun and they're videos that I would want to watch. <laughs> but that is my favorite Kindle Unlimited romantic books. And I guess I should say favorites of ones that I've read so far. There are so many more out there that I want to read that it's like, not how long my TBR is and how long my list is. There's definitely more out there that I'm sure I will say this to that are my favorite, but so far these are the ones that I've read and the ones that I've really enjoyed. I have read more and did not enjoy them. So just take that into account. That can be a whole separate video in itself of Kindle Unlimited romanticies that I didn't enjoy, but these are so far my favorites of the ones that I enjoyed. So first we're going to talk about probably honestly my favorite on this list so far. I think I have eight or nine books here. This is by far my favorite and that would be Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. This book was one that I had heard about and I had actually bought on my Kindle way before I ever read it. And then I started hearing about it. I need to to still give this a shot just because of all the good things that I had been hearing about it and different booktubers and people on bookstagram that I trusted their opinion. So I went ahead and started it and read it and I'm so glad that I did because it is a book that I think about all the time and I need, absolutely need, I am required to get to the rest of the series because I still have not done that which is just mind-blowing to me because I enjoyed this so much. I'm gonna give you guys the descriptions. We all know how much I suck at descriptions so here is the little blurbet or whatever you want to call it description that you can read. So the next one that we're going to talk about is Blood Mercy by Vila Roth. This is a book that there again, I heard a bunch of things about. I had it on my, on my TBR. A lot of people say that this one is, has very dense, heavy writing and it takes a while to get into. I would say that that's true, but not to the point that it made me ever want to put it down or DNF it. I never wanted to DNF at any point did I want to put this book down. I enjoyed it thoroughly from start to finish. And I guess maybe that's coming from like someone who mainly for a lot of years, like a lot of years read epic fantasy. So like I'm used to kind of all that world building and name dropping, all of the stuff that goes into trying to set up a book of this caliber. So it wasn't like a turnoff to me in any way. The love story between these two, I will stop myself. Here's the description. There you go. The male main character in this book, I have such a heart for. He is just amazing. I loved him. I loved him, loved everything about him. He is a vampire, but he's not your typical vampire. He's not a vampire who eats your face off and, you know, serves you to the rest of the vampires. Like, he is one that just has a heart of gold, doesn't really want to be a vampire. Their love story, it, it had my heart from from go like it just is amazing it's one of the best there again I need to get to the second book what are you doing Courtney hello like start the second book I have it on my kindle bought it ready to go need to get to it this year like let's go so the next book on this list is of course Serpent in the Wings or The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent so before I get started I'm gonna put the little blurb at little description here this book honestly had a lot of different vibes than what I was anticipating. I still have not gotten to the second one either. So I am sick. There's a problem with me in the brain. Like what is wrong? <laughs> um, I really need to, to pick up this one as well because I really think it's going to be worth it. And I've heard a lot of good things and I just adore Carissa Broadbent's writing. She is right up there for me with Sarah J Mass for sure. She tailored this story to people who like Throne of Glass. It reminded me a lot of Throne of Glass if you throw vampires in. It is also about vampires. I really need to get to the second book. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a third one in this. I don't think so. I think it's just a duology. Does anyone know? I actually have never even paid attention to, to like try to figure that out. The next book on my list is of course Zodiac Academy. There is so many differing opinions on this book. People either love it and they're obsessed with it and they zoom through the whole series or they absolutely hate it and make fun of it and despise it and think it's stupid. So personally, I'm kind of somewhere like under obsessed, but like <laughs> kind of making fun of it at the same time, if that makes any sense. I've only read the first three books. I have not gone any further than that. 
not for any particular reason, just because I keep getting distracted by other books. So I do need to, to pick up the fourth book and continue on with the series because I've heard that it gets even crazier. So before I get ahead of myself, because I already forgot, here is the description. This book is based on two sisters that are twins and they did not realize, they were not born being aware of the fact that they are royalty, that they're magical royalty. They get swept away by a professor that works at this magical school or academy, taken back to the school and kind of told about like their history and like where they came from. And so it's just about them like discovering their powers and like where they fit into this world. And I just really enjoyed it. It was really cheesy. The writing sometimes isn't the best. And sometimes you're like, why is there unicorns that like fart bubbles and what <laughs> whatever else happens. But at the same time, there's a lot of really like intriguing and captivating story in this book, in the, in these books. So I just, I don't know. There's just something about it. You just can't help but love it and want to keep reading. The next book on my list is The Witch Collector. And this is by Carissa, Teresa, I forget her last name, blanking on her last name right now. But anyway, you're seeing the thumbnail of the book cover. So here's the blurb flash description. When I read this book, I did it as a buddy read and it was one that like I had seen around weeks. That's her last name. Oh my God. Look at me just on it. Stellar over here. And it wasn't one that I was like dying to read. I had seen it around. I'd seen the cover. I'd seen the author. I followed the author on Instagram. So like I knew about the book, but it wasn't one that I was dying to get to. And then we did the buddy read. And it was one of those books there again that at first I was like, after I finished it, I was like, I don't really think I like that. Like, eh, you know, I'll get the second one. I'll continue it. But like, just to kind of see what happens. And then the more it like fermented in my brain, I was like, I actually really liked that book. And I think about it all the time. So this is on the list with ones that I need to continue. I just feel like there's so much growth the story can have in the next book. And I believe there's three or four books. Like, I need to get updated on all of this and like know like where these stories are going, how many books, what the author's planning next. If anyone knows, let me know. So this is one that after it fermenting in my brain, I decided, wow, I really liked it. Which actually, that is something that's been happening to me a lot lately. And I don't really know why it's slightly annoying, but here we are. The next book on my list is A Cursed Kiss by Jenny Hickman, I believe is her name. Here's the description. This is one that I actually won in a giveaway. Um, there was a big box, like a big huge box of a bunch of hardcover signed copies of books from indie authors that I won on a bookstagram giveaway. So that was super fun. That was a fun day to get all of those in the mail. I appreciated it so much from all of these authors. Did do a 24 hour readathon, locked in my lady room. The video, I'm hoping I remember to put it up somewhere up here. It is on my channel. So go check out all my videos that's on there. It was super fun. This was the book that I planned on reading. So it was kind of just like here in my library. I can't say that it was one that I was like dying to read. But upon reading it, I discovered that I absolutely loved it. So glad that I decided to read it. And there again, she just came out with the second book. And there is also two novellas related to these books that are like from different people's perspectives. Like it's like the same story, but like from their perspective. And those are novellas, but like they're like 350 pages, if I'm not mistaken. So they're technically books. I have them bought all on my Kindle waiting for me to read. I just need to get back to it because main male character there again, like just loved him. They had such good banter. Like the banter was like on point in this book and the romance. Romance. It was it was enemies to lovers for sure. Definitely pick this one up. It was highly enjoyable and I definitely need to get to the next one. So the next book on my list and the last book on my list is A Court This Cruel and Lovely by Stasia Stark. Here's the description. This is one that I saw talked about. I saw the cover all over the place and I was like, I have to get to this. It was one of those ones just instant like, I mean, I remember I was like in the bathtub like reading this just like completely lost track of time where I was at like my son came in to say something to me and I was like like <laughs> I'm in the bathtub like it was just the weirdest weirdest experience because I was just so wrapped up in this book and this certain scene that happens I literally remember it was chapter three because it just stuck in my head so much and the entire book wasn't like that the entire time but it was still just so good just really enjoyed there again like the banter between the two you know the male and, and female main characters and just this woman's story 
and what had happened to her and the things that she had gone through and the things that she finds out about herself and her life and what she thought she knew is just so interesting. I can't wait to get to the second book. Very enjoyable book and I'm super glad that I read it and it's one that kind of keeps sticking in my head because the, the female main character just kind of had my heart. Anyway guys, that is my list of my favorite Kindle Unlimited romantices current I should say favorites and yeah let me know yours what are your current favorite romanticy uh books that are on Kindle Unlimited like comment and subscribe guys thank you so much my channel is really starting to grow and it's so fun and rewarding because I feel like I'm really trying to put a lot of effort into coming up with fun videos so keeping you guys on your toes so thank you and I will see you next video bye